The Grieving Mother versus Hillary Clinton. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. It was a speech wrought with emotion. Patricia Smith, mother of the late Sean Smith, who was killed in the September 11th, 2012 Benghazi terror attack, taking to the stage at the Republican National Convention and laying blame for the death of her son at the feet of Hillary Clinton. For all of this loss, for all of this grief, for all of the cynicism, the tragedy in Benghazi has brought upon America. I blame Hillary Clinton. I blame Hillary Clinton personally for the death of my son. That's personally. Of course, it wasn't just Patricia Smith's son, Sean, that died in that terror attack. It was also Ambassador Chris Stevens, former Navy SEALs, Glenn Doherty, and Tyrone Woods. These four individuals died while in service of the United States government, specifically the State Department. And yet their families have been lied to from the beginning by Hillary Clinton herself. That, says Patricia Smith, is the main reason Hillary Clinton is unfit to be president. If Hillary Clinton can't give us the truth, why should we give her the presidency? Pat Smith is right on this, and the American people would be wise to listen to her. Clinton was lying from the beginning when she blamed the attack in Libya, in Benghazi, on a YouTube video. A YouTube video that nobody had really seen. That was a lie that from the email trail, appears to have started with her close advisor, Sidney Blumenthal, then was spun out in the media by Blumenthal's son, Max. But the reality is, we know from the email trail that on the very night in question, Hillary Clinton was emailing her daughter, Chelsea, explaining why she couldn't talk, why they couldn't meet up, because there was a terrorist attack going on, an Al-Qaeda-linked group attacking American positions. She could tell her own daughter that, but she couldn't tell the American people. She needed a different narrative so that it didn't show that it was a failure. And then, when questioned about all of this before Congress months later, she just said, does any of it really matter? With all due respect, the fact is we had four dead Americans. Was it because of a protest or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? Of course, it does matter because what happened in Benghazi and how Hillary Clinton reacted to it, how she lied to the American people, it tells you a lot about her abilities, about her competence, about her character. And on all fronts, she's sorely lacking. The American people were lied to about the deaths of four Americans, including a sitting ambassador. And now the person at the center of that wants to be president. In 2008, when she was campaigning uh, for the Democratic nomination against Barack Obama, she ran a television ad showing a phone ringing at 3 o'clock in the morning and asking who would you want to be there to answer that phone? Someone like Barack Obama who wasn't experienced or someone like her with experience? The fact of the matter is when the phone rang, Hillary Clinton was not there. And when she finally answered, when she finally got around to dealing with the issue, she lied. She's unfit to be president. She's unfit for public office. It's time for the world to wake up, remember what happened in Benghazi, and listen to Patricia Smith. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.